everyone, this is the Beard of Zeno. This is Prozzy Dolphin. Evil or Omega. And this is going to be our review of Captain America Civil War. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, first, this first part is going to be spoiler free. So we'll just give our thoughts and rating here on the film itself. Normally we let the person who's most passionate about the film go first. Like with uh, Evil Omega, we let him go for Batman Superman. But I'm taking a lot line here because Captain America is my favorite superhero. Yeah. So fuck you guys, I'm still in this. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say that when we got to the theater, it was mostly... Captain America t-shirts. Yes. Like, I, I saw no Iron Man shirts. That made, that made me very proud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Captain audience. <laughs> yeah. I even saw a Deadpool t-shirt. Yeah. Spider-Man. Was, yeah, a bunch of Spider-Man. But I noticed zero Iron Man t-shirts, which if I had one, I'd have wore it, because I definitely like Iron Man more than Captain America. So. Uh, first off, I uh, just want to give my background here. Uh, Winter Soldier is my favorite film of the MCU. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a 10 out of 10. F- amazing. We, if you want to know our thoughts on Age of Ultron, you know, short answer, we all loved it as well. Uh, it has kind of fallen in a lot of line a bit for me. It, you know, it went from like, like when we first saw it, we were like, oh yeah, this is a ten. But to now, to me, it's about like eight point five nine. It's definitely, you know, on review viewings, it's kind of fallen. I'll but, probably change my mind too if I saw it again now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Suddenly, my rating doesn't seem all that bad now, does it? You gave it a seven. <laughs> you give everything a seven. <laughs> This. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. But Everything was... prior to today, he gave the seven. Except, uh, oh. no, no, he gave Deadpool ten. But uh, God, I lost my train of thought. Caught, caught, <laughs> caught, <laughs> caught what? So naturally, I was pretty excited going into this, but I was also very weird because I thought that Winter Soldier could have been a fluke. That maybe, oh, this is you know the guys just hit out of the gate just so we happened just to be this awesome random occurrence that just ended up being this amazing film. Nope. They got the magic touch. The Russo yeah. brothers, uh, MCU is in good hands. I can't wait for Infinity War now because holy fucking shit, this movie. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is not a single fucking thing I can complain about. Nothing. Nothing. I it's can't like, think of anything either. Like, Only thing I can even think of, which would be a nitpick, was all the like the fight scenes, like Black Widow taking down all those people with guns. Like I know she has crazy reflexes. But at the same time, I'm thinking she just beat like seven guys who had guns. Yeah, I mean, in that's, training. Yeah, just some of that action stuff. You gotta still remember it's a movie. Yeah. But that's the only thing I can even nitpick that couldn't happen. Nitpicks is the most that you can do. On yes, movie. yes. The also, uh, Bucky getting that guy off the motorcycle and getting onto it—that's fucking impossible. I don't care what power you have. <laughs> like he's strong, but it looked cool, and that's all that needed yeah. to happen. <laughs> God damn, that was that was fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see what else my only uh, negative uh, this would be more spoiler territory but Zemo in the film not comic accurate at all uh, we'll touch more on that later well I will because okay. I'm not really knows yeah I don't know nothing about it but the character itself was actually really great but mm-hmm. they didn't really need to call him Zemo so yeah I was just impressed by how it actually meant something in the end yeah like I was impressed like how they set it up I think it worked great alright uh, moving on I'll let you yeah, you, you, you have nothing else to say? You, no. <laughs> okay, Jerry, you go. All right, well, the only complaint I would ever have about this is, um, well, it'd be kind of a spoiler, but uh, the fight scene in the trailer with Bucky and Captain America, why Iron Man started fighting is, I can understand it, but feels like it could feels like uh, slightly out of character. Okay, no. we're going to have an argument about this. No, one. I had no problem with that. Okay, we're okay. Hey, what do you want to say? Like that? I said, slight okay. nitpick, but. We'll save it. We'll save, we'll save it. it. But right. just <laughs> minuscule, very but minuscule. But also in that one, I knew that was going to happen because that was a big thing in the trailers. And I noticed that they were all there, the three of them together. And I knew they'd have to fight for some reason. Yeah. But anyway, we'll save it. There's a, good, there's a big comparison uh, to yeah. Batman v Superman, that's all I'll say. For, for uh, yeah. Right now. Batman v Superman. There's a lot of them, actually. Yes. Way worse as far as the motivations and the setup. Worst villain. <laughs> Definitely worst villain. The, the fight scenes just fell in comparison. I mean, yeah. I think this film actually even drives my score down for Batman v Superman. Like, even like <laughs> Same a here. Point, like, down to like a 6.5. It probably wouldn't if that wasn't like the last movie we'd all seen together. Yeah. And reviewed. And, most people say, oh, well, you can't compare them. I, you kind of can, because yeah, they are very not? similar. They talk of very similar subjects in very similar manners, almost mm-hmm. to a T, doing the exact same kind of situations yeah. with in- individuals. <laughs> I will say the fight scenes are all much better in this movie than they were in than the Batman v Superman fight, but this hasn't changed my rating for Batman v Superman fight, BBS right. fight. All right. Uh, let's go, go ahead and give our actual ratings for the film, then we'll just go straight into the spoilers. So, 
I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. So. Ten. Ten out of ten. Holy fuck, he gave it a ten. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I like yeah. this movie. The a only lot. thing I struggled with was comparing it to Winter Soldier. And I think, well, we knew both sides. We like it even more than Winter Soldier. Yes, yeah. I like it way more than Winter yeah. Soldier. I, I still think they're both perfect movies, but it's weird to compare because this movie has every superhero, or every Marvel yeah. superhero that you like this all together. This is what Avengers 2 should have been. Yeah. I think. This is like the true Avengers 2, honestly. Or you could look at it like this is like part two of Age of Ultron because I really it yeah. really is it is it's a sequel to Winter Soldier and it's a sequel to Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. How so cool. do with it? Yeah. Uh, my score ten. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now no. we're gonna go straight into the spoilers. I guess we'll go to the what we were talking about earlier, the comparison. You, you talk about the reason for fighting. Um, like I said, spoilers, full spoilers. So, so if you, okay, so if you pay attention to Winter Soldier, you know that the Winter Soldier actually killed Tony Stark's dad. And we learned in this film that he actually killed both of his parents. Uh, basically, they fucked it up for the, throughout the whole movie. It was like a big reveal. Mm-hmm. That's the comparison to BVS. Well, one of the many comparisons, actually. But it's the big one, because that's the reason that they started fighting, was because of, you know, parental issues. And that's the reason that they stopped fighting in BVS. Mm-hmm. So, that's a pretty similar topic it's so strange that they both had it there but i think civil war handled that way better oh way better it was an actual good reason that was like the truth because didn't lex luther like lie to them both yeah to make them fight yeah yeah it just like, better in every way lied to batman held superman mother's hostage yeah whatever but yeah um i really like that i love their motivations i thought it was fantastic there is not a single bad character in this film no uh, well, would you agree with that? Well, the only problem I have, the only very minuscule, very minor problem I have with the motivations is, wouldn't Tony Stark slash Iron Man's character realize that there are bigger issues than the death of his parents in the grand scheme of things? No, I don't think so. I mean, because he's an older guy, and he's been struggling that pretty much his entire life. And I think it's totally in his character to just throw all that aside I mean, his and just whole, take it out on him. His whole life he had daddy issues and his dad went yeah, away, so that yeah. just made him you know, magnify. Yeah. But couldn't he at least put that on hold until they get all this sorted out? And <laughs> no, then it's just such an emotional fucking... moment. He he wasn't thinking about all that. He was in the room with the guy who killed his parents. Exactly. I mean, it might have been if he saw that alone and figured it out alone. And not but... only that, he figured out that Captain America knew. Yeah, that's, that's what made what it even worse. That's what threw the Oh, the movie's so good. Okay, uh, let's talk about easily the best character in this film, War Machine. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. Oh, Spider Man. I was hell. really happy with that guy's performance, Spider Man. Tom Holland. Yeah, his name. he was great, and I can't wait to see a standalone Spider Man movie like, with him. Literally, when it, there's a moment in the movie where every time they go to a new location, they'll be like, "Oh, London or mm-hmm. Berlin." And that kind of got annoying, actually. But then it popped up and it said, Queens. Yeah, that's and when we, we all knew. It's like, fuck yeah, Spider-Man, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and um, Why do you think that was annoying? I don't know, it took up most of the screen. I just thought that was weird, bit. like it could have just been like the center, bottom. I thought it was weird it took up the entire screen, but that's just... <laughs> yeah, but that's... <laughs> also, Wonder. it's a really minor, minor nitpick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, only my. Like, oh, I didn't yeah. like the visual display of the letters. On the yeah, I didn't like the font. <laughs> <laughs> I even admitted that yeah. these were very minor yeah. nitpicks, yeah. guys. It's like so when, when, it, when it comes when it comes to Batman v Superman, like we had legit complaints. That <laughs> yeah. we, we talked about like, oh, this yeah. is bad. When we're complaining about font size, the movie's fantastic. Yeah, that's how you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Spider Man, oh my god. Everything about this character is just done perfectly. Mm-hmm. He's quippy. He's he, he's actually a fucking teenager. Mm-hmm. He's fast. His suit looks great. Everything about it was perfect. And I love how like when they ca- cast Marissa Tomei as Aunt May, the whole internet is like, "Oh my god, hot May! Oh my <laughs> god, that's crazy!" And they actually make jokes about that. In that yeah, <laughs> I did not expect that at all. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is. Everything that you wanted out of a Spider-Man film is in this film, I think. Just like in Spider-Man. So it makes me even more excited that the actual Spider-Man film is coming. Yeah, and I'm glad they won't have to waste time setting up this character and his uncle dying and then getting the powers and getting the suit and all that. That should all be done when we see the standalone Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Black Panther? 
I actually really liked this character. I liked him way more than I thought I would. I had I knew nothing about Black Panther at all. I was actually really, su- really surprised when they took the mask off and you figure out who it is. So <laughs> I liked everything about his character. So you you were a legit general audience for that one. Yeah, you, you yeah. Knew nothing. nothing. All I knew. I knew who the character was. I knew that he was king of Wakanda. That's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all I knew about the character. I also liked how they kept his fighting style, like his hands in that same pose as like the the paw thing. Yeah. Because that's such a minor detail that most directors probably wouldn't pick up on. But that's how you know he does a really good job like, because he knows that's how he's used to fighting in the suit and that's how we should be fighting without the suit. Yeah. So I like that really minor detail. Falcon was probably like the funniest character. Oh, I agree. He was one of the best parts of the movie. He was hilarious. Just any time that was him and Bucky on screen, fuck yes. It was <laughs> so many funny scenes just between them two. So like, could you move your seat up a little bit? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> when Spider-Man has him like whipped on the ground. Yeah. It's like, Jesus, how old is this kid? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Everything about this film. I cannot think of anything that was bad. I kind of wish that Black Widow was a little bit more prominent. Uh, maybe yeah. Hawkeye could have been a little bit more prominent. We had so many new characters that... True. Can't all get you know, a bunch of screen time but otherwise. Yeah. Everybody yeah. had their moment to shine. Mm-hmm. And like Vision, I actually really like Vision. I was Vision. impressed how much they did with Vision. And yeah. Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Like Vision in Age of Ultron... It's cool, but I was kind of lukewarm on him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it didn't really approach like, oh, well, I gotta get that Vision hot toys. This one, <laughs> yeah. yeah, if they make a like, Vision in a sweater vest, yeah, I'm buying that shit. <laughs> that was that was weird to see, yeah. but it makes sense. It's like when he, when he comes through the wall, it's like, oh, well, the door was open. So <laughs> yeah, I assumed he'd be all right. Yeah, <laughs> but he's an actual character in this one instead of like a plot device. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like he was in Age of Ultron. The opening of the film oh, it was a great scene. I love that. And um, Crossbones. Mm-hmm. Crossbones for his very short screen time <laughs> was awesome. It's great, so good. And um, I guess we'll go into Zemo now. Okay, okay. Ha- you both, you guys having no comic knowledge, what did you think of Zemo? I mean, I liked him. I thought he, was he did a guy, good job. Was he the guy who framed Bucky? The villain. Yes. Yeah, he was the villain of the entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> He would have made a better Lex Luthor than whoever they cast in BVS. That, that's true. That's not saying much, but yeah, technically true. <laughs> I and mean, he was way better at being that puppet master. Yeah. So would you say it was a good character? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, for me, I was really disappointed with that. Mainly because... See, so, so yeah, I had no expectations comics. of what he should have done, so if, I just looked at the actual you know, plan itself. and I, If they had just called it. this you know, his character or something else, it would have been great. Mm-hmm. Because he's not even really Baron Zemo from the comics. He's just a random civilian that was in Sokovia that lost his family. Who just happens to be named Zemo. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to make the heroes destroy themselves <laughs> from the inside. <laughs> and his wife sounds oddly like Scarlet Witch. So I thought like the message on his phone was like him listening in to Scarlet Witch's messages or something Oh, like that. I didn't, that didn't cross my mind. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, it, sounded, it sounded like Scarlet Witch, but at the end I'm like, oh, that's his wife, a voicemail that she left him before they died. Yeah, I didn't catch up on that until the very end. Yeah, too. all the fight scenes were great. Uh, well, I guess we got to talk about the airport battle. So amazing. The airport so battle perfect. has everything that you've ever wanted in a Marvel movie. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good action, high stakes, amazing quips. Beautiful visuals, and just awesome stuff that you never thought you would see on screen, like fucking Giant Man. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that was coming either. See, I, I'm so glad that you didn't know that, so I could see your legit reaction to Giant <laughs> Man. But I got spoiled through the toys. Mm-hmm. You know, through Marvel Legends and through um, the Funko Pops. Which... I don't know, I kind of saw it coming when, you know, way back in the at the end of the Ant-Man movie. When that ant goes bigger? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. No, that was a tease to that. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> God, it was... Oh, it was so good. And when Spider-Man's flying around, it's like, hey, did you guys ever see that old movie called Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Jesus, how old is this kid? <laughs> I didn't carbon date it, but... So many good quips. Yeah. And fucking Captain America finally gets some more action since the 1940s in this film. <laughs> it's strange, though, because it's, you know, Sharon Carter, mm-hmm. which is Peggy Carter's niece, which... How does that work? Like that, that's like ninety year dif- or seventy year difference between the two. Mm-hmm. How's she her niece? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's a great aunt. Yeah, I'm sure it's something like that. There's yeah. no way it's like her actual. Yeah. Yeah. 
But also Peggy Carter sense. died in this one. Yeah. So that that's sad. That was that was actually a really emotional scene, I think. But especially when Black Widow was there and you know they like hugged it out, it's like I just want to be here for you. That mm. good character moment right there. Yeah. That made me happy. <laughs> and when uh Captain America and Sharon Carter kissed. Just like looking at Bucky. All oh, their back. faces. <laughs> yeah. Another just, good moment just with Bucky them. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so great. <laughs> um See anything else we need to know? I guess I thought of one minor nitpick is when that guy like brainwashes Bucky again, and then he gets over it pretty quickly. Like I thought that would be something big they'd have to deal with, but after well, he, got he gets knocked, knocked out, out it yeah, been a day. they already said that it had been a day. Okay, but yeah, he, he got knocked out and that like rejiggered his brain. I guess I was just surprised that's how easy it was to take it back with him being knocked out. Yeah, for a day. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah. We actually got to see like the legit Winter Soldier again. Mm-hmm. By the way, are they ever going to, you know, recondition him to either erase the brainwashing or at least brainwash over the brainwashing? I don't know. Well, in the very end, they were going to, like... Try and find a cure. Yeah. Didn't they uh, cryogenically freeze him, something yeah, like that? Frozen, frozen and he pretty much said, don't bring me back until you find a way to get rid of the brainwashing stuff. So, so. you know, the, something's going to go on with that yeah. because Sebastian Stan still has seven more movies in his contract. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at the end of yeah. Infinity War, he's going to be Bucky Cap. <laughs> That'll be cool. I was so, so sure at the end of this film we were going to see Bucky Cap. Like, I was 100% bothered. I was sure someone would die. Okay, I have a nitpick. Okay. Nobody died. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody died. I was died. expecting it, but I was only expecting it because I knew Cap died in the comics. For God's sakes, DC killed Superman in the second fucking movie. Come on, Marvel, kill somebody else. Eh, not really. Uh, did I we watch the same movie? Boy, the dirt flew up at the end, but still... They went through the whole motions. It doesn't count because he didn't die. Well, I guess. No. <laughs> Plus, he's Superman. He, he's not going to exactly. die. Exactly. Yeah, but well, nobody's going to die in any fucking Marvel movie. Nick Fury died and came back in the same fucking movie for God's sake. True. <laughs> I actually thought they would kill off War Machine. I did too. Yeah. I, I knew... Well, see, it's funny because I figured he could die because he wasn't that big of a deal in this movie and I knew he was expendable. And I knew they wouldn't be missing out on much if he died. And that would just motivate, you know, Tony Stark even more to, I don't know, get revenge on Captain America or something like that. All I know like is in Infinity War, people have to die. They have to die. Because you're okay. fighting fucking Thanos. People gotta die. Hopefully. Mm. Okay, it's Stanley cameo. <laughs> One of the best, if not the best, cameo <laughs> in all the Marvel movies. I got a package for a Mr. Tony Stank. <laughs> To get a Tony Stinks right here. Yeah, one tail for Mr. Tony Stinks. Thank you for that. I needed that. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. It's so weird. Like, the only people in the Avengers Mansion now is Vision, Tony, and War Machine. It's it's, True. it's, it's, it's like Tony's new pad because it's him, his best friend, and his grandson, basically. Because, you know, Ultron created Vision and he created Ultron. So, it's like him, his best friend, his grandson, and then uh, wow. he plays grandson's girlfriend in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Oh, I do love how they they they're they're really they're exploring the the relationship between Vision and Scarlet Witch. Mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I don't think they're like they're full fledged like a thing, but they got something going on for sure. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to establish some kind of connection there. Yeah, which I like because the yeah, did it direct from the comics, mm-hmm. so it's nice that they're actually pulling something from the comics. AKA, you should have killed Cap in yeah. this film. Do they show? That's coming from a cap fan too. Do yeah. they show Ant Man and um, Hawkeye getting out of the jail thing? Yeah, Do they we know he, that he happened. Broke them all out. Okay. He broke all, everybody out the end, so it's it's like nothing happened. <laughs> well, there's still kind of a yeah tiff between them. I mean, well, actually, not really, because remember he he sent the letter to Tony and gave him a phone. Was like, here, anything? Call me. And Tony mm-hmm. looked at the phone and smiled. And he put uh, Mr. Mm-hmm. Uh, put uh, Ross on on the on the hole. It's like, Ross, how you doing? Tony, we need to talk. Oh, please hold. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, he's still part of the UN security yeah. thingy, so he has to wait for their approval well, on everything, and Captain America and his group are still wanting criminals. Sure. So how's that going to work out? I don't know. Yeah. I think Ross is going to end up becoming Red Hulk, because he does in the comics. Oh. So, that'll probably be, like, a big thing. I think Infinity War Part 1 isn't even going to be, like, Thanos, it's gonna be all like Thanos' minions. Mm-hmm. So I think we're gonna see Red Skull come back, Ultron come back, uh, Malekith come back. Um, 
probably see Red Hulk in Abomination for sure. Because all those characters aren't dead. Like, they just got zapped away. Like, Ultron, we didn't see him die. It was just like the Mind Stone with Vision, mm-hmm. like just a flash. So, I think Ultron's still alive. He's definitely going to come back from there. And somehow they're going to work back in Thor and Hulk. Yeah. I'm sure. Because they're off on their own little adventure for mm-hmm. Thor Ragnarok. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Give me a damn uh, Black Widow solo movie, Jesus. Hold that. I don't know, they might be past that. Uh, I, well, the one thing I don't understand, though, is, like, how can fucking Buggy have a Russian accent and speak Russian, but, like, Black Widow, who's supposed to be a Russian, has never had a Russian accent. Never thought about that. That's so know. stupid. It's like, I, I can understand it now, because she's, you know, with, she, you know, she was so long, because yeah. she adopted the American accent. But, like, even, like, in the flashbacks in Age of Ultron and shit like that. True. She true. never spoke Russian. <laughs> even, like, I had a Russian accent. That's so stupid. That's a more nitpick for Age of Ultron, but still. <laughs> Anyways, uh, anything else that we can think about? I don't think so. It's a lot easier talking about a movie where you don't have a million flaws with it. I feel like, that was the bulk of the Batman vs. Superman review was stuff we hated about it. There's yeah. not as much to talk about with the movie you thought was nearly perfect. Yeah. It's like, yeah, everything is great. I like this, this, and this, and yeah. we're done. <laughs> Pretty much. So, yeah, uh, you, got, you got any closing statements, Jared? Let's talk about the theater. All the work we put into trying to get good seats. Okay. And it, if you, you watch our Batman vs. Superman review, you know that we got the neck breaker seats when we went to go see. We had to sit front row. Terrible. Very front row. Front row to the left. So, we were off center and front row toe to toe with the fucking 80 foot IMAX screen. Yeah. 3D, too. Yeah. So. When we went in there tonight, we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna fucking go an hour early. We're gonna there. We're gonna be good. We're gonna good seats, and it was pretty much just as packed as it was last traffic night. Traffic, yeah, too. Just the traffic. But we still oh. got there pretty much an hour early. Yep. Close to it, and you're right. It was just as packed when we got there an hour early as it was for Batman or Superman when we got there like ten minutes early. It was ridiculous. The guy behind us who had the most annoying laugh ever. Oh, these totally. guys were way too big of fanboys. They fucking clapped constantly throughout the movie, it's which like the, pisses me off. Even during like the big trailer moments, like when he raps Captain America. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, when, when Spider-Man salutes Captain America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so good. <sighs> yeah. Everything about this movie, so fucking perfect. Mm-hmm. Like, I've watched The Winter Soldier like 25 times, right? <laughs> None of you kidding. Wow. If you could wear out Blu-rays like you could VHS tapes, when I get some more, like, I would have track lines within the first month. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to watch this thing a shit ton. I'm even thinking about going again tomorrow to watch it again <laughs> by myself if I have to, because... And that's the day when everybody knows it's out and kids yeah. are going to want to go. And I am not give a fuck. I got to see this movie again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like Star Wars. I got to go see that again the same fucking weekend, because, whew. Alright. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this yeah, video. that's all I got. If you have any questions, comments, or in the comments down below, let us know what you thought about Civil War. And like I said, full game for spoilers down below. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.